Can you believe that we are on day 27 in a row of uploading videos every single day to help prepare for the 11 plus? Because we are. Tomorrow will be four weeks since we started Top Dogtober. Some of you have been here since the beginning for the ride. Others will have clicked on this video for the first time. Here at Top Dog, we provide you with videos on how to solve all different types of 11 plus questions from maths, English, verbal reasoning, non-verbal reasoning, and spatial. You get a lot on our YouTube channel, but if you're serious about preparing for this test, why don't you head over to our website, topdogonline.co.uk, where you can access premium lessons at a bit of a discount. I'll tell you how later. But first, let me explain. You get homework after every single lesson. 12 months of access where you get English, maths, verbal, and non-verbal homeworks, walkthroughs on how to answer everything, the ultimate preparation. All you need to do is go to our website, add it to your cart, and put in Vote Dylan, and you get a nice 15% discount. That is four new lessons every single week released on our website for a whole year. Tons of resources, lesson uh, lesson sheets, worksheets to have a go at. Guys, if you find this useful, you'll absolutely love that. Less than £30 a month it works out as. A really, really good deal. Go and have a look for yourself. There are some example resources on the website where you can see what we're doing. Okay, so that's my advice to you guys. Anyway, I want to take a look at this question from yesterday that Hayden took a look at. These were those grids where we need to figure out what's going on, and here's your answer. The answer was B, okay? So it was antonyms, raucous and hushed, they're opposites to each other, solution and problem, they're opposites, and you might have noticed that this was quite a tricky pair to try and work out. Raucous is quite a tricky word, you might not know what it means. Remember, you can look elsewhere as well. So the opposite of corrupt, again, this is high-level vocab we might get in the 11 plus, guys. Virtuous is the opposite of corrupt. Virtuous means truthful, right, correct. Corrupt means wrong, lying, terrible. Okay, so they're opposites. That's that was a high level one there to get your uh, sink your teeth into. But why have you clicked on this video? You've clicked on this video because you want to learn how to answer transformation questions. So let's do just that. In these question types, you're given a figure on the left, and then something happens to it. That's all the that arrow means. It means something happens, and it ends up looking like this figure on the right. Our job is to figure out what this thing that happens is. Sometimes it's one thing, sometimes it's two, three, four. We need to find out them all. Because once we figure that out, we're gonna apply it to our shape here. We're given a third shape, and one of these is what would come out the other end. So let me show you how we'd solve this question type. On the left here is a moon shape and a small circle. And it keeps the same two shapes. That's what I'll say to begin with. So we keep the same two shapes, the moon shape and the circle. So we need this kind of hooked C shape and a rhombus. Uh, well, it's a rotated square, but we can still call it a rhombus. So it can't be B, because why would it change to a circle? So get rid of B straight away. Next, let's take a look. So what happens to go from here to here? Well, the outside shape, the larger one, rotates 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So we're gonna do the same here. It's gonna rotate 90 degrees uh, anti-clockwise and it'll end up looking something like that. Rotation is something you need to practice. So if you're not very good at visualizing rotation, draw it down, move it, twist it. In the real test, you'll have it on paper. You can always move it around. So we're gonna end up like this. So it can't be C and it can't be D. And the next thing is to notice what happens with the circle. It goes from the outside of the shape to the inside of the shape. So it ends up on the inside. So ours is gonna go from the outside. It's gonna end up on the inside of our shape. So it's going to go right here. And the answer therefore, is E. So that's how these questions work. One feature at a time. How on earth do I go from this to this? What's the rule? How do I build it using what's already there? And then apply the same to the third shape. Have a go at this one. It's a tricky one. I'll talk it through after. Okay, so for this one, first thing, see this little pattern, this little dot rather in the top left, it ends up in the middle. So our two lines are gonna definitely end up in the middle of our shape. That means it's not E. Okay, so that's the first thing. Next up, notice how it goes from a square on the outside to just a full shape without the outline. There's no outline around this circle. So ours here goes from a full shape on the outside. It's not going to have this big outer shape. So it's not A or C. It's not gonna have that around the edge. So it can't be C and it can't be A. That's just a fact. Now we know therefore that it's going to be a rotated square. How? Well, we can actually work this out because look, if we take all four of these corners, these quarter circles, and we combine them, we make a circle in the middle. So we're gonna take all of these corner triangles on the outside, see one, two, three, four. If we combine all of those, 
we get the two shapes there. But the last thing I need to check is, well, how do I know what the color is? Why is it gray or white? Always good to look at the options. Well, let's see, what was ours here? It went gray. So it was the bottom left shading went to become the shading of the new shape. Follow that same rule, bottom left here is white. So the answer is D because we're gonna follow the same rules as in our first transformation. Last one for us to have a go at together. Pause the video, have a go, see what you get. I'll talk it through after. Okay, so again, taking a look here, what happens to this shape? Well, firstly, I can see rotation. That's really important. So this T-shape rotates anti-clockwise 90 degrees to become that T-shape. So our T-shape here, we're gonna rotate it the same way, anti-clockwise 90 degrees. It's gonna end up standing up. So it's not B and it's not D. Next up, I always like to look at the options that are left, A, C, or E. Look at the color of the bottom. It's black, it's white, or it's white. Let's find out if it's black or white. So firstly, our shape starts with a black shape at the bottom of the T, and it turns white. So R starts with a black shape, which means it's going to turn white. It can't be A, it wouldn't stay black. We have to follow the same transformation. Now, the only difference between our two answers are whether they are crosses or plus symbols. Well, let's take a look over here. We start with a cross symbol and we end with a cross symbol. So no matter the rotation, we maintain the same symbol. Here we start with a plus, so we're gonna end with a plus. And the answer is E. All about one thing at a time, looking at what happens, isolating each one and figuring it out as we go. That's transformation using a lot of the same things we've been learning all of Top Dogtober. And now it's your turn, guys. So I want to see how on earth do I go from all of these lines and circles to make this, then do the same thing to this one and let me know your answer down in the comment section below. Guys, come back tomorrow and you'll get an answer and you'll see if you're right. Hayden will tell you and I'll see you next time for 29 when I return. I know, part of Hayden for a day. I get it, guys. I've seen all the comments. I know, I know it's annoying. You'll see me in two more days. Guys, well done for getting this far. See you then.